Hello, Leo. Welcome to your December reading. We are going to do a general reading to, for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign of Leo. We're going to look at love, career, family, health, friends, whatever comes through this reading, I will relate to you. And in the end, we will look at romance for married and couples and singles at the very end. So let's take a look at whatever is meant for you to come through over the next four weeks. Now, we're going to um, be doing things a little bit different. So as you watch our channel, you will see things change along the way. So the first week, we have the Queen of Wands. The second, we have the Seven of Wands, the Three of Cups, and the fourth week of December, we have the Fool card. Very beautiful energy, really, truly. This is beautiful energy that I feel a lot of you have worked very, very diligently to get into a higher vibration. Now, the Queen of Wands, and we're going to go into detail on each one. The Queen of Wands is saying your confidence is being restored. You, as a Leo, represented by the Queen of Wands, regaining your passion, regaining excitement for life, and actually making plans on how you can enjoy everything around you. Because it's time, and you know it's time. It's time to be the fool and to take a risk and to take a chance at whatever it is that is lighting your fire in the beginning of December. So very, very positive energy is coming through the entire month. Some of you may be celebrating with people that you need to establish new boundaries, new guidelines as far as how things work between the two of you. And what I mean by that is uh, creating, uh, you know, I'll, I'll come to your house if you make sure you do this or don't do that. Now, the reason why you're feeling this confidence is because you're putting yourself back into balance, Leo. You're finally getting back that energy, the vigor, the vitality that's inside of you. I'm trying to make sure those are on camera for you. And we can only do that if we are in balance. So in the first week of December, and this is absolutely in the first week of December, December 8th, December 8th is going to be a very important number for some of you. That may be the day that you recognize you are in balance again, that the ebb and flow of life is returning for you. And for others, it may be when you realize you need to do that. But this December 8th is a very, very important day. Now we have planning and preparing. So you must be planning and preparing again. Like I said, you've got something amazing getting ready to come in. For some of you, it may very well be a trip, absolutely, a little bit of travel, holiday travel, but for a lot of you, this is about your life. This is about your family. This is about you restoring your own inner confidence. So staying in balance, you're going to be able to take those little seeds that you planted. For every effort that you made, you will receive two times back. That's what I just heard for you. For every effort that you made, so every seed that you planted, if it was uh, starting this or starting that, you're going to receive two back. We have moving forward, and this is all about travel. This is about making plans to travel to see your family, but you're going to have to figure out how to uh, balance your finances along the way. Seeing these people, seeing whoever the Queen of Wands may actually represent for you, if it isn't you, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarian individual. But it's really somebody that I, I feel you find very captivating. This could be seeing somebody that you already know or even somebody that you have never met. Whatever or whoever this is, this opportunity is presenting itself to you in a very positive momentum in the first week of December. Now, as we roll into the second week of, of December, we have the Seven of Wands, and this is setting those boundaries, and it may be all about love with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is saying you have absolute emotional attachment to something that you're working on. You may need to segregate yourself and withdraw from others, especially if you are writing. If you are a writer, what, I don't feel it's really a blog, although it could be if it's a paid blog. For the majority of you, it's long. It's long papers. It's long documents. That could be actual documentation, uh, legal documentation. But I feel this is writing screenplays for a lot of you. I'm seeing the movies in the background like a movie. 
Whatever it is that you're writing, whatever it is that you're designing and drawing up, you love it. So you're going to have to close the doors and, and do it and withdraw from others in order to keep your focus and balance on what you've been working on. This may be re-editing some of the work you've already done for some of you and you need to open up and cleanse. So if this is a book you're writing and you're having difficulty uh, getting the words out, they're saying cleanse your mind, cleanse your body, cleanse your soul. You need to release everything. So you may find yourself having to rewrite this particular book or this, uh, again, it looks like a screenplay, play, a screenplay. So you may have to rewrite it because if it's too emotional, you're going to be out of balance. But again, this is something that is attached to this three of wands. So this is a forward movement that you are going to absolutely love. And you must make sure that you are releasing, like I just said. I, I mean, this is like a repeat of what I'm saying. So this is releasing the mental restrictions that are keeping you stuck so you cannot get that eight of wands and the eight of wands is when we are right now like our dickens right so whatever you are working on it's time for you to let go of the mental restrictions that have been holding you back we're looking at cups and we're looking at swords which is the divine feminine the divine masculine which has everything to do with the two of pentacles Keeping your logic and your emotions in balance while you're putting all of your energy and effort into this situation, into this experience. And making sure that you are jumping on your horse and taking action. Now what they're showing me is you're going to withdraw, you're going to uh, do the work that needs to be done in that second week. Because by the third week, you're ready to take and celebrate. And this is you getting on your horse and taking action as you roll into the third week of December. So this may be traveling absolutely to see your family, but you're going to have to really put your head down and focus on accomplishing your goals before the third week. This may be something that you normally would do by the end of the month. And now you have to, you know, your time limit has moved because of the holiday itself. Whatever is going on, we have the Three of Cups in the third week, and that is about celebration. That's about joy, enlightenment, and having a whole lot of fun. Now, with this temperance card, this is saying keep yourself in balance. Some of you are getting ready to have a family reunion, and it is the word family. A family reunion that could be with one person. It may be with an entire family. It may be just with that queen of wands itself, right? But this is say, saying, they're saying to stay balanced and pay attention to your inner wisdom. Your guides are around you and they will guide you through this. If you have any fear attachment to this three of cups, the celebration, maybe it's from childhood, healing some childhood issues is what you might be working on in the second week. A rebirth of you is getting ready to take place. So for the storyline of those of you where you are writing and you're writing about something that is actually empowerment to you. If you are writing and expressing how you have turned your life around in the story, whether the story is actually about you or not, it's a rebirth of you that's going to happen when you release all of the negative attached to it. The negative attached to it may have made you feel stuck and unable or just feeling like I can't make that next move. I can't progress forward. Writer's block. Okay. Now, it doesn't have to be writing. It can be whatever you're working on. A project. Setting boundaries. For some of you, setting boundaries when it comes to family reunions. When it comes to people around you. Because your inner child wants to play. Your inner child saying, let me have some fun. And oh my goodness, you are going to do that. As long as you set those boundaries. Again, we have the Seven of Wands. The real description of the Seven of Wands is keeping others away from you. Like I said, retreating and focusing on what you need to accomplish. For others, this is about you setting new plans and new uh, ideas going forward. But it's really about you protecting yourself when you go to whomever this Three of Cups is. Joy, celebration, and having fun with a lot of people in your life. And it's an important part of, of what you're doing at this time in the month of December. 
So as we roll into this fourth week, the fool card, the fool card is you, man. That is awesome. This is saying, I'm going to let my hair down. I'm going to just go for it. I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to believe in me more than I believe in anyone else in my family or friends or even my own partner. On a higher level than probably you have in quite some time, two dash three years is what I'm seeing. Working hard, putting your head down is what's bringing you to this feeling of, uh, it's like freedom, a new sense of freedom by restructuring your life, by planning, by organizing and eliminating the negative people and experiences you will be able to focus. And by the end of the month, you are celebrating all that hard work and effort. There you go. You've got the three of cups again celebrating because you took a chance. You wrote, you drew, you designed, you created. You took all of your learning abilities, everything you've been educated on, and you threw it into yourself on the basis that c'est la vie, you know, whatever happens, happens. But you also know that this angel is around you, that you have guidance from the unseen energies, from the universal energy flow. It is going to help move you right through this where you will be celebrating and it's beautiful there's the payout if you're looking to get that opportunity if you are waiting for that money to come in some of you will receive it by the end of december now this is something where some of you are getting ready to see a queen of pentacles male or female this is a person a virgo taurus or a capricorn as a zodiac sign but this is a person that I feel is really part of what you're doing over here. Whatever you're designing, drawing, creating, and setting new plans and boundaries for is coming to fruition by the 28th is a very important date. So you've got December 8th and December 28th, very, very important dates, especially when it comes to your career and overall mental well-being. Okay, so let's take a look at any adversities that may come along the way. And then we're going to look directly at romance. All right, this is the end of the year and there's a lot of pressure on us for, you know, a lot of people in general, making sure that we complete that, complete that or start something. And that's exactly what's going on with you. So through this, we have the three of cups. In the first week, you may feel very connected either to this Queen of Wands person, but I feel for a lot of you, this is about your own interconnection. In order to move forward, you must be in balance. And when we're in balance and harmony within our divine feminine, our divine masculine are entwined. That means we are one within. And when we're one within, we can jump on that horse and move forward. And we know exactly how to set the boundaries for whoever is around us. Now, this may have everything to do with traditions and values, and it definitely has to do with the social interaction that you have with others. Socially can mean your family. It can mean a group of friends. It can even be the work environment that you're in, where you are going to see life differently because you're rewriting, restructuring your life. So it's almost like that beautiful uh, old saying, you know, where we can rewrite our stars, right? Some of you are going to do that because you are creating, you're inventing, you are, are designing something that is going to be of value to the world and make the world turn around and see it. If this is a screenplay, I assure you, this screenplay, if you continue to focus on you and you make sure that you eliminate those negative thinking which we all have, and it comes in every day, every day. You have to work on it every day, sometimes every hour, sometimes every minute of the day until we get into that ebb and flow, the balance being created so that we can see what we're doing from a whole different angle. And now we can captivate a lot of other people to enjoy what we're producing. And that's what I feel for some of you. You might feel a little bit stuck by in the end of the week, by that Thursday, Thursday of the second week, you will be seeing everything from a different angle. Beautiful. Now, in the third week, we do have the Princess of Swords. So this is important for you to really, as you set boundaries and tell others to leave and tell others to get away, you looking like the eagle, 
looking down upon people. This is information technology. Uh, if it's a job for some of you, I feel that this is along the line of, well, I keep hearing the word creation. <laughs> so you may be creating and creation and creating anything. That is huge. That's very broad, very vast topic right there about uh, developing creation, creating your own website, creating your own uh, links. I hear the word links. So you may be doing links to help other people in their websites. Like for me, I may need somebody to help me do SEO links, things like that. So you may be in that field or this opportunity is definitely going to come in. When we're looking at a job, you absolutely have something coming in by the third week. By the third week, you will receive this offer. And this will be an offer that is going to be that Ace of Cups. It is going to actually make you feel better than you felt in a long time. And I will let you know, Leo, that the world is going to change. And in the next few weeks, we're going to have a feeling of empathy towards others whether we want to or not. It's part of the planetary alignment. This all incorporates astrology, astronomy, metaphysics. They all are along the same line and they interconnect, right? And that's what my degree is in, interconnection of relationships. And that's what's coming for you by that third week of the month. And it could come from a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius individual. You may have Taurus in there, which we've already said. Sagittarius may be part of this reading as well. I also feel Pisces is in this and Scorpio. Gemini is very predominant in this, and you may be dealing with an actual Aquarius. So in the fourth week, we have the world card. This is travel. This is starting a new chapter, a new chapter with this offer that's coming in that is going to actually create a brand new life for you, a new journey, a new path, a new course direction. You're rewriting your own life plan. You are rewriting your own start. So it's a beautiful ending to the month. Celebration, joy, let your hair down. And when you do, it's like we just open up and allow this new stuff to come down. And that's what a lot of you are doing. So it's very, very beautiful energy for the month of December overall in general. Hard work is going to be rewarded and it's about time. Am I right? It is about time. So we're going to take a look at our beautiful married couples. And uh, if you are in a relationship and both people know that you're in a relationship, that's who we're going to look at right now. And we will follow up with our single, 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 single. All right, let's see what they want you to. Married in couple, we have keep an open mind. Because the packages that we invest in, people, units, relationships, sometimes we put so many boundaries on them. We define the way they look, the way they have to act, the way that you should have done it this way. If you loved me, you would do it that way. We put a lot of restrictions on love. But in your particular situation between you and your partner, you have an opportunity to really expand and grow the relationship overall in general. The Ace of Wands, that's what I'm talking about. This is passion. This is excitement. This is doing things different. Keep an open mind because your partner is going to introduce to you some ideas that are going to be super exciting. And they may even feel a little bit scary only for the simple reason that it's new. But it's going to light your fire. And when it lights your fire, you and your partner are going to reconnect on a sexual and sensual level. You're going to move forward. You're going to move past anything that was restricting the two of you in this unit. Now, I know that may sound difficult today, especially if you're fighting and arguing. And people do that. We're in relationships, right? That's what happens while we're in relationships. But this is the six of swords after the five, after the arguing, after the battling. Something's going to come through. Now, you could have one of those relationships with every time you argue, you wind up becoming very passionate together. However, this time is different. This time you're going to leave the arguing behind and you're going to focus more on this beautiful brand new beginning. This is an exciting opportunity for you and your partner to change things up in a brand new way. 
you may have been seeing things from a completely different angle. They look that way, you look this way. They want that, you want that. But through this, you're, and that was creating the argument. But through this, you are going to be able to come to this beautiful overall basic energy of the Ace of Swords. This represents the month of December. You may be involved with a Sagittarius, but or a uh, Aries, but I feel for a lot of you, this is you. This is all about Leo. This is about you restoring your own passion, and it could have something to do with what you're doing on the general side of this reading, the writing, whatever that plan is, putting boundaries up may be vital for this particular situation, but you will be seeing things very, very differently. The fear, the anxiety of being a uh, uh, added bonus for you. <laughs> and I say added bonus because you have to work through that. This is the anxiety. Is it going to work? We're so different. Are we going to be able to make this work? The mental sabotage, the verbal sabotage will be ending by the end of December. I feel for a lot of you, this will happen by the 24th. The 24th of December, just in time for the actual holiday itself, you're going to have something beautiful come rolling in. It will overcome the fear and the anxiety of the differences that the two of you have. So this is a very beautiful uh, opportunity, one that will need work, but you have everything around you to do that. So my beautiful married singles, there you go. And I mean, couples, let's take a look at our singles as we move forward. Okay, Leo's. Passion. Oh my goodness. Allow your heart to sing. Sing from the bottom of your diaphragm and sing hard. Sing loud, even if you're off key, because you're meeting somebody that is going to actually make you believe in love again. This is going to be somebody who's filled with passion on a higher level that may have even challenged you when you have a lot of uh, um, conflicts about love remember they're going to make you want to believe in love again overcoming your own self-sabotage energies because one person hurts us and they hurt us so deep because we open up we become raw we become vulnerable we end a relationship that hurts us and we say all of the zodiac sign you were dealing with all of that particular sex man or woman all, we always use the word all, all men are, all women are. But in this particular situation, you're going to meet somebody who is going to stir your passion unbelievably. You're not going to see it coming. You're going to be focused on you. You're going to be focused on working on your own life and creating an environment that you love. And that has everything to do with the general side of this reading. As you're looking in another direction, you're going to meet somebody that you believe is in balance. They're going to make you turn your head. And as you turn your head, you're going to see some hidden secrets about you, about love. They're going to make you feel alive again, that hidden part of you where you really do want to love, but you pretend you don't. We all go through phases like that. And this may have been a phase for 5-7, 5-7 years for some of you, you've been single that long. But this person is going to bring out that beautiful inner hidden desires that you have where ideas are going to pop and you're going to see yourself floating on a boat. You're going to see yourself traveling with this person, being in new situations. And I don't mean uh, from an unrealistic point of view, actually looking at it because you're in a beautiful balanced place and so are they. You're going to be looking at this situation that it has a lot of potential, has a lot of opportunity, and the passion is going to be off the charts. It's going to sweep you up where all of the hidden love that you had inside is going to pop through in a beautiful way. So my beautiful Leos, have a wonderful December. Please share this video, thumbs up, and much love.